The ARC, uh, which is the Advanced Research Complex, is a collaboration between photonics and geoscience. Accelerator mass spectrometry is the technology to analyze very trace isotopes. How do we possibly measure something one in a million billions? We need very high energies. A normal mass spectrometer has a fairly high noise level. By adding the energy to the ion that the accelerator has, you actually get above the noise level. It's like being in a bar during a football game on TV. Uh, you have trouble talking to the next guy. But the fire alarm goes off, everybody can hear it. Why? It's coming in with a much higher energy signal. That's basically what the accelerator does for the particles that we're working at. When samples come in, they could be coming in from a research vessel in the ocean, as much as they can be coming from volcanoes, or they could be coming from an archaeological site. Once they get here, they get sorted as to for which isotopes or which elements are they interested in, so that we know which technique is necessary. We basically clean them up and reduce them from the raw materials, which could be ivory or wood or shell. We convert them to CO2, so they're a gas and then we take that gas and convert it back into a solid. We want just the carbon, we call it graphite, and then we bring the graphite down to the accelerator. Some of the most exciting dating that we're using radiocarbon for relates to artifacts that have been frozen in time for thousands of years. Aboriginal communities used to hunt caribou. Caribou would go up there to get on these ice patches at high elevation to get away from the flies in the summer, and it was a happy hunting ground up there. With lots of materials left behind, broken arrows, hafted points. I think we're the first lab in the world to analyze the glue. We could date the point, at least when it was used, by the resin that we got off it. The collaboration was extremely intense on the, regarding the materials that they were trying to use. They were taking a, a different approach from using a lot of glass in their systems and wanting to go with stainless steel. They were also typically very manual types of systems and they wanted to be much more automated. So that got into a lot of selection around valves and, and uh, stainless steel types of materials, the types of connections and even welding uh, to have that high integrity. People were worried that because we were using steel instead of glass that there would be a lot of memory problems. In other words, one sample would still be leaving a residue behind and affecting the next sample coming into that same port. So we had to run some extensive tests in able to be able to show that, you know what, no there is no residual issues, that the sample does transfer completely, providing that there are no reactive sites within the materials that are being used. And that was one of the main reasons we went with orbital welding. In this, our relationship with Swage Lock really went to a new level. We needed precise welds, clean welds, and many of them. And it warranted us to actually buy the welder. And I was so pleased when uh, Swage Lock hosted our machine guys down in the factory for the training course on welding. And our guys, they're pretty good welders. And they thought, wow, we've got a week's holidays down here. You know, we're gonna go down and, you know, learn a little bit about their new instrument, how to turn it on. But we're good welders, we got this nailed. They've never worked so hard in a training course in their lives, is the report that I got. Donc, euh, nous avons participé à ce cours-là chez Swage Lock. Et puis, euh, ça nous a ouvert les yeux beaucoup. On a fait un survol complet, dans le fond, qui nous a été très bénéfique, je crois, pour atteindre ces, les, les, les niveaux de soudure euh, propreté là, demandés ici. The initial purchase of the tool was based upon the construction of the AMS lab, but they are finding all sorts of different applications where high purity tubing fittings valves uh, can be utilized at a much lower cost than manually putting these uh, products together. We trust Swage Lock because of the experience that we've had using it. I think everybody's pretty much convinced that the way to go is to just keep going with products that have proven themselves. Our intent is that we're going to take what we're doing to a whole new level. I just see it getting bigger and better. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs>